Good afternoon, happy Thursday. Welcome to Simply Fun Cocktails. That's right, it's Thursday and it is cocktail time. So today, what I have for you guys is a vodka gimlet. And uh, this one, this one is uh, one that you can serve in, in a smaller glass or in a martini glass. So this is gonna be a little bit stronger drink um, because it can be served as a martini. So you're gonna notice that our golden ratio that we've been talking about a lot is going to be a little bit off today, um, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be equally as delicious. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a little bit of lime. Um, and I'm actually going to get a wedge already here so that I can have a wedge for garnish. So I'm gonna start by getting my wedge ready. There we go. And then I can cut my lime in half, all right? So, as always, start out with a little bit of ice in our shaker, all right? Now, the vodka gimlet, a gimlet is typically made of gin. And it's usually like two parts of gin, half part, um, simple syrup and half part lime. Some people say that, you know, a true gimlet is really just uh, two parts gin and then one part of sweetened lime juice, which is really the, really the same as doing like half simple syrup and half lime. But some people really believe in just the, the sweetened lime juice, the real simple, like keep it in your fridge type stuff. So we're gonna do ours from scratch here. So we've got a little bit of ice in our shaker, of course. And we're going to take our lime. Now, since we only need a half of a part of lime, instead of, oops, instead of one ounce, we only need a half ounce today. So, we'll press that right on in. Usually a half of a lime is about an ounce. Let's see. Press that right in there. This is kind of nice, it just, I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, so the citrus press, right, has holes on the bottom, and then you've got your little jigger, which has your measure marks inside, and these holes in the bottom sit real nicely right inside the jigger. So when I'm squeezing this out, I can literally just set it right on here and squeeze, and all the juice goes right in. I just discovered that just now. You're welcome, okay. So now we've got about a half ounce of lime juice. All right, and then we're gonna get about a half ounce of our simple syrup. And measure that out. There we go. Pour that over our ice. Remember, start with your more uh, inexpensive ingredients and then move up to your expensive ones. Because if we were to mess something up here, right now we're not wasting any alcohol if we had to dump it for some reason. All right, so then two parts of your vodka. Rocking the two tall vodka today. All right, so now we're gonna go up to our two, two ounce line, which is near the top. Oh, perfect, look at that. There was exactly two ounces left. All right, I guess I'm gonna to need to go get another bottle. All right, throw that in. And of course, we're gonna shake it up. All right. Now, being a martini, we don't necessarily pour this one over ice, okay? So we can just put it in our glass. Now, if you wanted to chill your glass, something you can do uh, while you're making your drink, you could put some ice water in here and just kind of let it sit. And that would chill your glass for you. Then you just dump out the water and you're all ready to go and have a nice chilled glass for your drink. You can also, of course, put the glass in the freezer for a little while. Plan ahead and do it that way. But we're just going to go ahead and pour it right in. Isn't that beautiful? All right, of course we strained it with our strainer here uh, and we've got some fresh lime in there, but then we can garnish with a little lime right like that. So here we go, real, real simple, really easy 
vodka gimlet made with vodka instead of the traditional gin in a gimlet. Let's see how it is. It's pretty good. Yeah. So this is definitely one that, um, of course, if you want to make it more of a cocktail than like a martini, uh, you can definitely add a little more simple syrup. You can add a little bit more lime. You could put it over ice, add a splash of soda or sparkling water and change it up a little bit. And you guys might notice that it'll be very similar to maybe some of the other cocktails that we've made just because you've got that golden ratio. It's pretty, pretty simple to just make a few different cocktails with the same recipe. So there we go. Vodka Gimlet for today. Uh, we'll see you next Thursday. And by special request, next Thursday we are going to be doing, um, we're going to be making a great drink for parties. And it'll be a rum-based drink uh, that'll be perfect for the entertaining season. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you next Thursday uh, when we've got a little, little rum punch type thing coming for you guys. All right, have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you next Thursday, everyone.